you want someone who doesn't play the best quality of education in this country. In terms of the uh, students that we turn out academically, morally, spiritually, uh, and everything. My vision is to take my uh, colleague to the point that our graduates uh, will be sought after. Okay. I, I, as far as the job market is. The college has undergone various changes since its inception. First, it offered a four-year certificate A post-middle course, and later on both certificate A and B courses were offered at the institution. A two-year post-secondary course was added, then a three-year post-secondary course, and a two-year specialist course also offered. And in 2004, the three-year diploma in basic education course was introduced. It currently offers a four-year Bachelor of Education BED program affiliated to the University of Cape Coast, five course under seven departments with a student population of about 2,000. Responding to what new strategy that is to develop and maintain the effective educational programs, this was what he had to say. For the past three years, as acting principal, done a lot to keep the system together, to keep the system moving. We've also provided academic uh, leadership. Uh, uh, when I inherited the institution two years ago, I was the only PhD holder. And I took it upon myself that uh, what can I do uh, to bring uh, my staff up? So now we have uh, plenty of my staff pursuing uh, their PhDs, those who didn't have the unfair to teach, because our basic qualification here should be an unfair. Those who didn't have, we have encouraged them. Uh, some who have graduated and uh, they are good to go. We are also trying to put international relations also as, uh, as our core thing, so that we link our institution to international institutions for the purpose of best practices. However, with the college being an all-female institution, this was what he had to say in promoting teaching, learning, and student-teacher relation. Our system has a lot of uh, policies that guide us, uh, which are homegrown policies. We develop the policies, but developing the policy to suit the uh, uh, the best practice of the international standard. So uh, uh, we have our JSE, which is uh, gender equality and social inclusion policy, which uh, is, is, a, is a new thing uh, where we feel that everybody should be involved and nobody should be left out. Mm -hmm. So we don't say that this is a female institution, so only females should teach here. Our gender equality policy is, says that we should give uh, equal platform to both uh, uh, sides. And that uh, addresses that question because uh, uh, you can't say that this female institution so it should be run by only uh, a female. Mm -hmm. Definitely the males will have to be here. But beyond that, what other thing are you putting in place to create probably barriers and borders? whilst we go through our operations. Mm -hmm. uh, if a uh, relationship is our concern, we have strong uh, social harassment policy mm -hmm. that is fully disseminated to our staff. We keep letting them know. Mm -hmm. So I know every staff member here is very steady, both sides, because the social harassment is can happen from, uh, you know, uh, both sides. Like every other institution, Dr. Crunchy tells me that the college do not have it all. Uh, St. Monica's is uh, one of the best institutions in, in this country mm -hmm. uh, by the way of uh, things that we do, mm -hmm. uh, our courses that we are running, opportunities that we are giving to uh, people to do so many. We have a lot of courses that we, we are running. To. It's uh, a, a good opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have it all. No uh, institution can have it all. 
because uh, we are in transition. We used to be training college, and now we are in the tertiary uh, order. Mm -hmm. So even the transition, we haven't gotten there yet. We need staff who are qualified, not fully qualified, because every tertiary institution definitely, uh, our PhDs, we need PhDs. So in terms of staff capacity, uh, we need to build staff capacity. Then it comes to uh, infrastructure. Additional support he emphatically stated is welcome. Uh, academic uh, facilities and also residential uh, facilities. The government is doing her best to help. Uh, but I think we internally, uh, my predecessors have done so well in putting a lot of things in place and we have to continue from there. But we welcome uh, participation if uh, private people want to uh, help us, to support us, to get there. We are welcome. And it's exactly what we are going to pursue to ensure we raise the funds across to do some of those things. We don't have it all. We need help. The college secretary, Mr. Emmanuel Mankwa, also tells me about the inadequate accommodation and measures being put in place to address it. Our challenge there has to be on accommodation, of which we are trying to, you know, put up some structures. Unfortunately, we have one issue with accommodation. We have a hosted project, which is still stalling. A get fund project, of course. If that one is, is, is resolved, I think we have the capability to address issues of accommodation on campus. More, more so, we also have a new project being constructed by the government, the hosted project. We are part, and we are praying that it will move on swiftly so that at least in the next one year or two, we can have adequate accommodation for our students. Inadequate security personnel, he also disclosed, is another challenge. We are understaffed when it comes to security. We are having about 11. We should have supposed to have gotten about 20 security officers. But the issue has been with financial clearance. We're hoping that we get adequate financial clearance for us to uh, enroll a lot of security personnel. Notwithstanding, college is also making provision for IGF through uh, the IGF. We'll be able to recruit few of them, but it is not sustainable. It's true. So yeah. would you say that for now, our girls are safe? They are. They are safe. They are safe. That notwithstanding, tutors have rallied their support for the principal to improve and maintain the achievements of the college. We've been working with him since he came, and so um, whatever it is, uh, almost every staff member is with him. Whenever he calls day and night, we have always been with him, and I believe that he can put us together as he now takes the substantive chair, and I believe we can do it together. Right. He's always been there for us. Since the day one he stepped on campus, we had a problem with our department structure. But he, he came in with management, they developed the place. So we have, right now, we have a lot of equipment, materials and tools to work with. And he being there for us, we are also going to be there for, for him. We are ready to work with him. So maybe he goes on retirement. And we also maybe go on retirement.